Well, a growing number of phone customers are complaining that they're being moved to new, more expensive plans without their permission. Consumer Watch reporter Julie Watts has a story of one man's surprise switch. It's in January that I started getting the text messages. And Al Stilo quickly realized his granddaughter's phone was to blame. But just as he was about to double his family plan's data limit for an extra 10 bucks a month, he says the rep offered a better solution. She said, I can do something to slow down her data usage and it won't cost you anything. Al agreed to give it a try, but when he opened his next bill, he got a surprise. The plan had been changed. AT&T had switched Al to a new mobile share advantage plan, which doubled the base price of each line and added fees. And when he called to complain, he says AT&T explained once you switch, you can't go back. I didn't authorize any change. And he's not alone. We requested wireless complaint data from the FCC regarding switching phone plans without permission. AT&T accounts for more than 37% of all complaints, Verizon a close second at 25, Sprint accounts for 22% and T-Mobile 15. Less than 10% of the people actually file complaints. Anna Montez of the utility watchdog group TURN says this type of thing happens more than most realize. Part of the reason for wanting to switch people to new plans is because the phone companies does make more money off a customer. But she notes miscommunication may also play a role. In some cases, the representative may be confused. In others, the customer may not realize a special promotion or offer for a discounted phone may require you switch plans to cash in. In a statement, AT&T said, we want every customer interaction to be perfect and will never stop working to get better. As for Al. I just felt that I was being handled uh, very poorly. Now, after we got involved, AT&T did give him a credit and they moved him back to his old plan with the increased data he initially wanted. Now, if you are switched without your permission, the first thing you should do is call your carrier. Turn also recommends that you immediately file a complaint with the FCC and the California Public Utilities Commission. Also, keep in mind, you should always get the terms of any new phone plan in writing so you can refer back to it later. Ken Liz.